Ladies and gentlemen, here is Kiev born 2013 Van Cliburn gold medalist Vadim Kolodenko. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to the awards ceremony of the 16th Van Cliburn International Piano Competition. I'm Fred Child, and before I go any further, I have to say it was so heartwarming to hear your reaction. I was just backstage, I introduced Vadim Kolodenko, the 2013 gold medalist. I wasn't even able to finish my thought because of your warm and enthusiastic reaction. Just in case there was any question, I know a lot of you recognized it, Vadim played for us the Ukrainian National Anthem. I think most of us here in this room know the story of 1958. And before I go any further, I'm just curious, because not that long ago, is there anyone here in the house tonight who was in Moscow in 1958, when Van Cliburn was there? I don't see any hands up, but it's, it's entirely possible, and I'm sure there are folks watching around the world. Well, 23-year-old Van Cliburn went to Moscow when fear was in the air, when the Cold War was at its height. There was so much fear, so much disconnection, fear about nuclear war, the H-bomb, duck and cover, the evil abroad. There was so much disconnection across national borders. And here comes Van Cliburn with his extraordinary musicianship, with his disarming 
humanity and humility, and he connected directly with the Russian people. From his very first moments in public in the 1950s until his untimely passing in 2013, Van Cliburn knew in his heart the connections that music can make and the way music and art can overcome fear. Honestly, being here these days at this competition in 2022, I have pretty much stopped watching the news. We, <laughs> we know there's a lot to be afraid of now. That's the focus of the news today, but the focus here in this room, on this stage, at this piano, has been the opposite of fear. It's curiosity, it's connection. The musicians on this stage have shown us that nation of origin matters far less than individual character. The musicians on this stage have shown that the immense tragedy and suffering that we know of from history is not a necessary indicator of our future. These musicians have shown us that through dedication to art and humanity in our lives, we can overcome those disconnections, those tragedies, that suffering. Those of us who watch and admire the music making taking place on this stage, we're not just seeking a diversion from the news. And we found what we came for over the past 17 days. We found a hope that a more beautiful, connected future is entirely possible. We've seen it lived by these musicians on stage. And the last word has to go to Van Cliburn himself, of course. Van Cliburn was asked for 65 years to comment on politics, and he always shifted the focus back to music and art. Even when he was 23 years old in Moscow, when he was asked about Russian-American relations, he said, quote, I'm touched by the cordial reception given to me by the Russian people. It's a great pleasure to play for these fine lovers of music. The spirit of the audience inspired me. And when he was asked a question that will likely be asked of our gold medalist tonight, in just a few minutes, how does it feel to win the gold medal? He moved the focus from himself back to music and art. This is a quote. I appreciate more than you will ever know the honor that I receive, but you are honoring music. I'm only a witness and a messenger. I believe in the beauty, the eternity, and the invisible architecture of this art form. I'm grateful that you've honored me in this spirit. Van Cliburn, we remember your presence on this very stage. Your connection making lives in our hearts, in the legacy of this event, and it continues in these, in these musicians we honor today, in the spirit of music and art. Thank you, Van Cliburn. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Jeff King, the Clyburn Chairman of the Board, Jacques Marquis, Clyburn President and CEO, and Marin Alsop, the Clyburn Jury Chair. And of course, the jury of the 2022 Van Cliburn International Piano Competition. From France, jean Flamme Bavouzet. From Italy, Alessio Bax. From Austria, Rico Gulda.
from Switzerland, Andreas Hefliger. From China, Taiwan, and the United States, Wuhan. From the United Kingdom, Sir Stephen Hoff. From the United States, Anne Marie McDermott. From Israel and the United States, Orly Shaham. And from Germany, Lilia Zilberstein. Let's take a quick look back now at the past 17 exhilarating days. This summer, the Van Cliburn International Piano Competition returned to Fort Worth and to the world in a dazzling display featuring the world's best pianists. 30 competitors were narrowed down from 388 applicants to travel to Fort Worth and to compete in person for the chance of a lifetime. They convened at the brand new state-of-the-art Van Cliburn Concert Hall at TCU, where they each performed a 40-minute piano recital that included a commissioned work by Sir Stephen Huff. A jury made up of some of the best musicians of our time and headed by conductor Marin Alsa selected 18 competitors to move forward into the quarterfinal round. Each pianist then performed another piano recital, culminating in a jury selection of 12 competitors to move to semifinal rounds held at the beautiful Bass Performance Hall. They were joined in collaboration as each performed Mozart concertos with the Fort Worth Symphony Orchestra and conductor Nicholas McGeegan. Six were then selected to move to the final rounds where they performed two concertos with conductor Marin Alsop. After weeks of stunning performances that were not only seen by countless audience members in Fort Worth, but also broadcast live to millions worldwide, we crown the medalists of the 2022 Van Cliburn International Piano Competition. Just a little behind the scenes showbiz secret. When you see an MC applauding at the mic, the, the secret is the silent clap. <laughs> because you want to look like you're clapping, but you don't want that sound to go in the microphone and come out the speaker. So the silent clap from me. <laughs> Before we get to tonight's presentations, we want to once more acknowledge this outstanding group of six finalists who graced our stage this week. We just saw their faces on the screen overhead. They're all here with us at Bass Hall here in Fort Worth, Texas. Finalists, if you would please join us on the stage as I call your names. Dimitro Choni. Anna Genyoshene. Uladislaw Kandoi. Yunchan Lim. <laughs> Ilya Schmuckler. <laughs> and Clayton Stevenson.
finalists, for now, please take your seats once again. <laughs> I know, my pulse is rising too. We're just extending the suspense. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Clyburn Chairman of the Board, Jeff King. Good evening. What a thrilling journey we have enjoyed together over the past two and a half weeks. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I wish to express our profound gratitude to our esteemed jury and conductor, Marin Alsup, our competitors, our competitors, our donors and sponsors, our 600 volunteers, our staff, Those of you who have joined us live at TCU and Bass Hall, and those of you who have followed us online across the four corners of the earth. Once again, you all have combined forces to produce one of the most celebrated classic music events on the planet. It is the mission of the Clyburn to advance classical piano music throughout the world with an enduring commitment to artistic excellence and the discovery of young artists. After 388 applications from 51 countries, culminating in 17 days of brilliant artistry, before nine voting jury members hailing from six countries, I believe you all will agree that the 16th Van Cliburn International Piano Competition has achieved that mission, and we are all better for it. Music is our universal language. It knows no earthly boundaries. It rises above all conflict. It is our only common voice. As a 23-year-old, Van Cliburn himself brought the human race a little closer together through music in 1958. Those of us in this hall and those of you watching around the world have done so again in 2022. Congratulations and thank you all for being part of the Clyburn family. And now please welcome Clyburn President and CEO Jacques Marquis. Thank you, it's the bow tie. Thank you, Jeff. 60 years ago, inspired by Van Cliburn, his legacy of bringing people together with music and across all boundaries, a group of exceptional volunteers started the Cliburn. Today, like Jeff said, 600 volunteers, they are board, board members, host family, social host, gift shop personnel, Airport transportation, early morning, very important. <laughs> Events planner, they are the core, they are the pillar of this competition. Thank you all. <clears throat> 60 years, and I would like to mention one person that has been involved 44 years of those 60 years, he was a conductor, a jury chairman, an artistic advisor, and an endless friend of the Clyburn. Please give a hand to John Giordano somewhere up there. <laughs> Candidates, we were here. Um, close by three weeks ago and we talked about this is your journey this is also a picture in time and it's part of your intense journey of what you do with such bravura and love 
and always think that it's now and you're still continuing this journey through time. And we're happy so much to have you all with us. For the finalists, thank you. It's been a privilege. For the other ones, next competition, 2025. <laughs> thank you all. We had many, many a fantastic artistic partner, partners. TCU, the new Van Clyburn Concert Hall at TCU was great for the two first rounds. After that, coming back to Bass Hall is such a privilege to work with all of them. And we put, to a certain extent, a lot of work on the Fort Worth Symphony with having three concertos this year and first with Nicholas McGeegan, and after that with Marin. Thank you, the musician of the Fort Worth Symphony, for your engagement and dedication to Clyburn. <laughs> the jury. People coming close by the jury room heard either way nothing because they were working or a lot of laughs. They had a lot of fun, but what I loved about them is their complete dedication from the day one. They took, they took so many notes on the candidates, and they were there to cheer, to be moved, to, to help, and like you, to be touched by music and their art. They are concert pianists, and they know what it takes to be there, to stay there, and also the pressure of being on the stage. And I think we had a fantastic jury. Thank you so much. In the artistic world, I kept Marinals up as a dessert. My cherry on the cherry on the cake. She has been wonderful way before you saw her conducting. And she arrived early on, and she was a fantastic jury chairman, because trying to mute them is not easy. <laughs> and she was perfect doing it. And she was perfect also of looking always for the music. We had many, many conversations about how we can help young musicians. She's a great conductor, but she's also great with young people. It's why we are so privileged to have her with us. And Marin, whenever you want, you want to come back, you're my guest. Thank you, Marin. <laughs> A competition like this, I'm getting there, guys. I know, I know, I know. A competition like this, um, needs a lot of support. Sponsors, donors, you know who you are. Thank you. It's been a crazy five years considering everything happened and you were there when it counts and you'll be there in three years, I'm sure. Then we'll be back to see you soon. Thank you so much, sponsors and donors. They are crucial to us. Thank you. I will talk now about Clyburn workforce. It's twofold. We have a lot of contractors with us. Thinking of the webcast, who is fantastic, I would like to say thank you to Buddy Bray as host. <laughs> he makes everybody look smart and fun, and because he is really smart and fun, thank you to the two who did the semi-final round, John Nakamatsu and Liz Rowe, they were fantastic. And it's a big team behind them who did that. We've been working with these guys for many, many years, and we're so privileged to work with them. And all the contractors, the stagehands here, and the people who are in the back making this possible, you're the best. Thank you. The twofold, the next one is Clavern staff. This is the Clavern team, uh, dream team, uh, almost as you guys. 
uh, Dream Timber Club and staff, they are involved, they are the host of this competition for everybody coming from the world. They're working without time, without uh, concern. They are engaged from day one to day last. And I thank you, all of you, personally. It's a privilege working with all of you. Thanks. <laughs> Finally, we have Matty Parker somewhere. Thank you, Mayor, for coming today. And, you know, I love, would love to convince all our mayor, the one now and the, in the future, to call Fort Worth Piano Town. <laughs> we had some uh, good numbers. I had like kind of, where are we now? 8.5 million of views on the webcast. <laughs> 170 countries. And, and 50 million on social media. At the, beginning, at the beginning of the Clyburn, there was two mandates, helping young musicians and sharing the music with all. I think we can say, good job, guys. We did pretty well this year. Thank you, please. This is my real honor to introduce Marin Alsop to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This has been an incredible journey. Uh, as I said to the orchestra this morning, thanks for a great year. Oh, it's only been a week. Uh, yeah. Um, but I really want to personally congratulate each one of the finalists. Um, I so enjoyed, I um, might cry, sorry. I so enjoyed working with each of you. I really, I, I fell in love with each of you, and I can't wait to collaborate again in the near future with all of you. Congratulations to every one of you. So the Clyburn, as I've learned now, is much more than a piano competition. It's about community. People from all walks of life coming together to support and celebrate these incredible young talents. Um, when we had a coffee this morning, the, the two young women who were the baristas said they loved the concert last night. I mean, that doesn't happen often. Um, and you know, you, the audience, have been incredible. Your enthusiasm, your warmth, your focus, your cell phones, and your energy. <laughs> no, no your, your energy has really spurred uh, all of us on. So thank you all for being here and for supporting these young people. Um, I want to see, yeah, it's fantastic, huh? You know, and the hundreds of volunteers who couldn't be lovelier or more generous, I think every one of them fed me. And uh, I, I want to say a special shout out to my personal volunteer, Joanna, who is responsible for my extra five pounds this week. Um, and my, uh, my fellow jury members, um, colleagues, and my really newfound friends um, who have listened with intensity and focus and above all, profound artistic integrity. Thank you. And of course, my personal thanks to the orchestra. I, I felt like they tried to play Rachmaninoff three as though it were the first time every time. So congratulations to them. And uh, I know it's the thank you. You know, you, you can't say thank you enough, really. And none of this would be possible without great leadership. And Jacques Marquis, Jeff King, the entire staff is amazing. Board of directors and incredibly generous donors. Thank you all. 
um, you know, for me, witnessing these unbelievably gifted and dedicated young people uh, gives us hope for a future that is built on the best humanity has to offer. So maybe we should just end there. No, okay, so now for the awards. Over to Fred. Uh-oh. Well, that could be bad, Fred. Are you all right? There is no proprietary information on these pages. Um, be before we get to the awards, uh, just one quick thing, actually. I, um, huh. I sent an email this afternoon into the ether to the winner of the very first Clyburn competition, Ralph Vodapak. And just as I was walking around backstage, he wrote me back with a message for the young musicians, the pianists of this year's competition. Having watched some of the earlier rounds and almost all of the finals, I'm very impressed and moved by the artistry, poise, not to mention the fingers of all six finalists. <laughs> Wishing them all a successful life in music. Yours, Ralph Vodapak. Oh, that's nice. To the awards, pianists, when your name is called, please join us on stage to receive your certificate. I will say the, the first two are not here with us. They've already gone to, uh, to their next gigs. But first up, the Patricia and Neil Steffen Family Jury Discretionary Award with a cash prize of $4,000 made possible by an endowment gift from Patricia A. Steffen. This award goes to Andrew Lee. The Raymond E. Buck Jury Discretionary Award with a cash prize of $4,000 made possible by an endowment gift from the Raymond E. Buck Foundation. This award goes to Cheng Yong Chin. The John Giordano Jury Chairman Discretionary Award with a cash prize of $4,000 made possible by an endowment gift from Mary D. and F. Howard Walsh. The award goes to Marcel Tadokoro. The Beverly Taylor Smith Award for Best Performance of a New Work, a work written, of course, for this competition by Sir Stephen Huff, with a cash prize of $5,000 made possible by an endowment gift from the estate of Gordon William Smith. The award goes to Yun Chan Lim. Best Performance of a Mozart Concerto with a cash prize of $5,000 made possible by a gift from Anton Nell. The award goes to Ilya Schmuckler. The Carla and Kelly Thompson Audience Award, presented by Medici.tv, with a cash prize of $2,500,
made possible by an endowment gift from Carla and Kelly Thompson, and by the way, voted on by more than 13,000 people in 84 countries on Medici.tv. The award goes to Yun Chun Lim. And now, the 2022 Van Cliburn International Piano Competition Medalists. Pianists, as Marin calls your name, please come up on stage to receive your award and stay with us for the remainder of the announcements. First, third prize. The bronze medal comes with a cash award of $25,000 made possible by a gift from the Molly and Garland Lassiter Charitable Fund at the North Texas Community Foundation. Third prize also includes three years of individualized career management and U.S. concert tours, the development of a promotional package that includes a press kit and website, and personalized performance attire. The bronze medal goes to Dimitri Choney. Second prize, the silver medal comes with a cash award of $50,000, made possible by a gift from Mr. and Mrs. Fuller French in honor of Adelaide Polk Fuller. Second prize also includes three years of individualized career management and U.S. concert tours, the development of a promotional package that includes a press kit and website, and personalized performance attire. The silver medal goes to Anna Genyushini. First prize, the Nancy Lee and Perry R. Bass gold medal comes with a cash award of $100,000, made possible by an endowment gift from Nancy Lee and Perry R. Bass. First prize also includes three years of individualized career management, including U.S. and international concert tours, a comprehensive career mentorship program, a Steinway Recording Prize Studio album, the development of a promotional package that includes a press kit and website, and personalized performance attire provided by Neiman Marcus. The Nancy Lee and Perry R. Bass gold medal for the 16th Van Cliburn International Piano Competition, sorry, goes to Yun Chun Lim. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, it's a question that often comes up in competitions. You just saw the collegiality here, and I'll tell you that yesterday during the final round, between concertos, the pianist coming off and the pianist going on, I saw exchange a huge hug and smile. These musicians have supported each other through this entire event. Thanks once again to all of our competitors. Thank you all for joining us. Those of you here in the hall, we invite you to continue the celebration across the street in Sundance Square Plaza at the closing party. Our new medalists will be there right after the press conference. Otherwise, congratulations to everyone who's taken part and to our worldwide audience. Our hearts are full knowing that we'll see you again in just three years, the 17th edition of the Clyburn International Piano Competition in 20. 25. Thank you and good night. Here are the medalists being congratulated by Marin Alsa, Jacques Marquis and Jeff King. Yun Chan Lim, Anna Genyushina, and Dimitro Choni, the medalists of the 16th Ben Clyburn International Piano Competition. They've got bright futures ahead of them and a very packed schedule for the next few days. Those are our medalists. Liz Rowe. No surprises there, really? No surprises there. <laughs> Very deserving. And each artist just showcased such individual personalities. And you can see that the jury is sharing their respect with all of these talented pianists. I'm Buddy Bray. It's been my honor to be your host for this journey. And it has been the adventure and experience of a lifetime to be sharing the co-host desk with you, buddy. Thank you so much for watching the Van Cliburn International Piano Competition. Have a good evening, and we will see you in 2025. Thank you.